can't totally explain it, Karen, but it's like Rosario's all around me. She's in me, and then she's out of me. She's in me, and then she's out of me. It's like our wedding night all over again. Is she happy? Does she like cleaning heaven? She says it's bigger than she thought, but they do let her take home leftover chicken and the recyclables. Does she have a message for me? She does. She does. She's, oh, this is interesting. Rosario says you're going to find love again. That's crap. Would she break into God's liquor cabinet? Um, this is coming from a disembodied ghost, so kind of think it's real. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's talking about. Uh oh. She did not like that. Why, what'd she say? Rosario, I'm not gonna tell her that. Well, just tell me. She says you're gonna get mad. I'm not gonna get mad. She says you're a quitter. Uh -huh. She says you should put on that perfume mm -hmm. and get your rich, pampered ass back out there. She is not allowed to talk to me that way! <laughs> Even though she is dead, she's fired! She's taking over! Oh. I'm losing myself! Oh. Well, there are a few things I'd like to say to you, too. If you quit on love, you're a fool. What the Listen, hell do you lady, know about love? I don't even think it is our love. You're a monster who were made from the devil's fortune and put on that fucking book for me. Every day, every day I would regret not be placing your vodka in a brain tanker. Why do you think I heard Butler's stand? And that means there's someone for you. Rosie, do you really think so? I do. And I won't give up on love. I love you, Mommy. I love you too, Mommy. I miss those lips. She's coming. No. She's coming. <gasps> She's gone.